What's going on creators? So today we're going to be talking about something that everybody kind of struggles with, but especially the creators, and today's 3 Minute Thursdays, so let's get started right after this intro sequence. So welcome to the channel guys. My name is David Lee. I'm a photographer and cinematographer looking to help you improve your visual content with my tutorials, advice, and just entertain you guys with my content. So today we're going to be talking about motivation and how lack of motivation can disrupt your creative process and how you can kind of overcome this block, this creative block and kind of just keep creating and be inspired, stay motivated, stay, stay going even when things are getting slow. So before we get started, drop me a comment below and let me know how do you guys stay motivated? How do you guys stay inspired and keep creating and not, you know, get hit with this wall of what do I do next? So let me know in the comments below how you guys stay motivated and make sure if you guys are new here, if this is the first time you guys are seeing me on your screen, on your computer, on your phone, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notification bells and stay updated with my videos. You won't regret it and um, three minutes on the clock and let's get started. The first thing that I do to stay motivated when I'm creating is explore my options. I really like to reach out and explore those darker areas that I don't really usually get to, the ones that I don't really take pictures of, the ones I don't really do videos of. So let's say that I'm really, really focused on portraits and I kind of want to explore outward so I can expand my reach and kind of explore the other options. Reaching out to other places that you don't naturally go to is something that can really bring some inspiration, some motivation, and kind of give you more to work with. Now, YouTube is actually one of my creative outlets. I use YouTube as something to keep creating. I use it as something to keep fresh ideas, something to keep me going in a consistent creative process because I'm trying to keep up with you guys, I'm trying to provide content for you guys, and I'm creating content for myself and keeping myself active, keeping myself in the practice because if I wasn't creating YouTube videos, I would be making videos like two or three times a month and that is not good because then I'd be way out of practice, I'd be extremely rusty. So YouTube really keeps me going, it gives me something to create for, it gives me something to keep going and pass that wall and never get hit in the face by it. It gives me corners to turn and places to go because YouTube is something that keeps you creating and just gives you something to do even when you don't have anything else to do. So YouTube is an obvious place that you can create and it really, really helps out with the creative block. Now, if you find yourself stuck, you can always take a break. Now, breaks, they don't seem like they're actually good for anything, but honestly, I feel like taking breaks is really good. Usually when I edit a video, I'm usually doing something else. I'm watching a movie, I am playing a game so while I'm editing my videos I like to do something else on the side because it gives me two mental places to be so when I'm editing my video I'm less focused on the movie but when I'm less focused on the movie I'm really going in on that video so it gives me kind of a thing to do so if my mind gets bored of editing I can switch it over really quick and then switch right back depending on what I need to do and breaks are really good for that because breaks give you a, a literal mental break so if you get if you're editing this this quick b-roll sequence and you're like man this doesn't look good this is getting kind of boring i don't like these effects you can always take a break come back to it and you'll basically be refreshed and you're like okay how about this just take a mental break and things might look better to you or you might have a better idea of how to handle the situation and maybe when you're taking your break you can go out and explore so there is this term in japanese it's um shinriyoku it's basically nature therapy so let's say that you go out and you travel the forest you roam the forest and you kind of just take in nature you kind of let it sink in and this is his nature therapy so it, it'll improve you through just being outside the the green energy the you're absorbing all of the green energy from nature and, and it's making you feel better it's making you feel happier it's making you feel good and maybe this might move that creative block and you guys can go out and see things and explore and 
get inspired by nature in itself. So that is one thing that I've found to actually help out a little bit. And you know, walking that neighborhood walkway is pretty nice actually. And it actually gives me some ideas. So it actually helps out. And one thing that actually really helps out for everybody, and I know 100% is actually watching someone else. So watching someone else is something that will inspire you because they're doing all these things that you aren't doing or they're introducing new things to you or showing you different ways to do what you're already doing. Go, watching them go out and do all these things will actually inspire you to go out and do your own things or want to do this or want to do that based off what you watched. Watching people is actually pretty inspiring. You get inspired by other people and other things going on Instagram, looking at things, pictures, videos, or any other type of things. Even memes can inspire you even. There are so many things that can inspire you and keep you motivated. So these are just a few tips. What are your tips? Let me know in the comments below. These are some things that I actually do for myself. I take breaks, I watch other people, I explore, I leave my comfort zone to explore and kind of do things that I aren't, I'm not already doing to expand my horizons. So whatever you guys do, I wanna know. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and um, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Three Minute Thursday. I'll see you next week.